Hello, uh, today we are talking to the issues that we raised in a, an interview that Mr. Tinashe uh, Jonasi was part of on SABC under African perspective. Let's hear what he has to say and this will be followed by a discussion. Okay, well, as we've indicated, Zimbabwe's opposition has been in the news recently as factors within the MDC are at each other's throats after a high court in the country declared the MDCT led by Togoza Nikupe as the official opposition in that country. The MDC Alliance leader Nelson Chamisa is, however, adamant that he is the legitimate leader of the opposition in Zimbabwe. So to discuss the situation in Zimbabwe, especially amongst the opposition, we will be speaking this evening um, to MDCT presidential spokesperson who will be joining us a bit later on, that is Kalipani Pugeni. But we're joined this evening by Trust in Dovo, who is MDC Alliance South African spokesperson. We also have uh, Dinasha Jonas, who is ideal Zimbabwe president. And lastly, Deo Mavenga, who is a human rights lawyer. Um, Dinasha, let me start off with you as a more of a smaller party. Um, considering the state of the political impasse in the country, how would you describe the state of the opposition? I, uh, in, 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 in simple terms, the, the opposition is in a crisis. And it's a, it's a crisis caused by a disrespect of the Chapter 12 institutions. It's a crisis motivated by disregard of, of, the, of the constitution of the country. Uh, because and they, they also it's a crisis caused by their disregard of their own constitution, mm -hmm. their own party constitution. So it's 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 a matter of uh, constitutionalism or rule of law versus uh, populism or the rule of men. What do you mean, uh, Chapter Twelve? Can you just explain to us? Uh, in South Africa, it's the the vision of your your like the office of the public protector okay so almost like what we refer to in south africa as chapter nine institutions so you are saying that there's a disregard yes. for those for those institutions who are there to promote constitutionalism what what evidence can you point to to support that argument okay when mr nelson chamisa uh, took over power uh, i will start on the on the main i mean on, on, on Ubuntu or Ubuntu, what you call in South Africa, uh, the body of the of the icon, the late icon Morgan Sangrai, was still very cold in a South African mortuary, and uh, they were, I mean, they had a, a comfortable three vice presidents. So surely they could have discussed about the barrier of their um, uh, their late president, but Mr. Chamisa saw it fit to grab power when his uh, late president was uh, still in a South African mortuary. That is not African. That is an African. Uh, sec secondly, uh, the, 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 the Executive Council, which was, the, I mean, uh, assembled by Mr. Nelson Chamisa, was uh, not uh, legally constituted. He, he, he basically grabbed the power uh, unconstitutionally. And the High Court had a ruling before they hosted um, their, their so-called Congress, uh, and he lost the ruling. Then he decided to appeal just to, 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 to shortcut, uh, to, 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 to have a, 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 I mean, a fake Congress. Yep. So Mr. Mr. Chamisa uh, took over power yep. illegally, and then there was a constitutional court ruling. Yep which is the highest court of the country. And still, he, he disregarded the ruling. And because he said, I'm very popular, mm -hmm. so I would still, people would still follow me. 
And then he went on with the MGC Alliance. And now he has lost the, the offices. He has lost the, the, the name of the alliance again. And now he sent, uh, probably two okay. days ago, he sent, he sent his youth to, to take over the, yeah. the, the, the headquarters. And, and, and we'll get to that, uh, Tinasha. But in conclusion, would you say that the crisis that the opposition is currently facing in Zimbabwe, at the core of that crisis, is Nelson Chamisa? 100%. Okay, um, let's get the trust in Dovo to respond to that trust. Good evening and welcome to African Perspective. What's your response to what Dinashe has to say? Uh, good evening. Well, the crisis in Zimbabwe is a political crisis, is a legitimate crisis. Mm -hmm. And in response to that, when ED was walloped at the elections, when ED lost elections, the ERIS, of course, he got into power through the court uh, pro, uh, processes of which we had to respect. But we know the truth of the matter that ED uh, was not happy when he lost that, uh, those elections. And in response, he had to use the courts. Mm. And in using those courts, he has to use the courts to weaken the Nelson Chamisa, the president of the MDC Alliance, mm -hmm. he had to weaken it by making sure that uh, he, Chamisa loses everything in court. And we had been waiting to see if at all the MDC Alliance will be given justice. But unfortunately, because it's, there is a political crisis in the country, there was no way that we were going to get that justice. Uh, then we also... Trust, is it not true, though, that um, the divisions within the party came even before Emerson Nangagwa was elected president of the country? The fallout between Tokozani Kupe as well as Nelson Chamisa came before, um, before the, 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 the 2018 elections? Uh, that is true then, but I, I sure. was about to explain that. You see, what happens is that uh, if when uh, the former president of the MDCT died or passed on, there was already a national council which was about to discuss the national issues. And uh, which, of course, by that time, we were preparing for the national elections. Mm -hmm. And uh, the national council had all the powers to decide who had to lead them at that moment. So the National Council could not leave uh, a leadership vacuum. And they, they of uh, Madame Kumbe, by then she was not around. You would remember that for about eight months, Madame Kumbe was not attending meetings which were being called by the former president, uh, Morgan Trangrai. Therefore, the party uh, was, had to decide, had to make a decision. It was a very difficult moment, and they decided that uh, they, they had to ask uh, uh, Nelson Chamisa to lead the... the, the that's the, not how the I party. understand it to be, Trust. Um, that's not how I understand it to be. I understand it to be that uh, Morgan Tangara is the one who, uh, for back, lack of a better phrasing, um, anointed Nelson Chamisa to be, his, to be his successor, although it was against the constitution of the party. Look, there are, those are other issues that one, uh, of course, uh, the president of, uh, had also wished to see uh, Nelson Chamisa taking over. But also there were due processes which had to be followed. Yeah. In our understanding by then, of course, even now, the National Council has the power in between Congresses to make mm -hmm. such decisions. But in any case, like uh, uh, I said before, that after the elections, you would find that uh, they realized that, no, the MDC as an opposition had become too powerful. Okay. And then they had to use the courts to weaken. Let me just finish my, 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 my point. Mm. They have to use the courts to weaken the opposition because uh, the MDC was, was becoming too powerful and, it, had, had, uh, uh, and it's, uh, it was only Chamisa who was making a point that the MDC had won elections. Okay. And of course, now that things are in, in the situation like where we, where we are right now, mm -hmm. we've decided to say, okay, for the sake of peace, for the sake of unity, 
let's come together. Okay. Let's go according to the court's ruling to say 2014 structures. Let those 2014 structures come together and try to address the question pronounced by the uh, by the Supreme Court judgment. Okay. And that's where we are now. Okay, Kalipani, let's hear your take on uh, what um, has been said now by, by trust. And, and also, though, um, can we also argue that uh, Togozani Kupe may have opened herself um, to allow the opposition to be destabilized in that country? Good evening to you and to the listeners at home. And of course, I want to say good evening to Vindlovu and uh, Jonas. Uh, indeed, it's an honor to be with you again this evening. I need to clarify certain points which were raised by trust, mm -hmm. which are, are misleading. First of all, the constitution of our party leading up to the 2014 Congress, it allowed for all standing committee members to be elected at Congress. For you to understand this, standing committee will be like the top six in South Africa of the ANC. Mm -hmm. When we got into that Congress, because our previous two SGs in the professor and constitutional, we then resolved at that Congress, 2014 Congress, that uh, all the powers will now go to the president's office. So the calling of the national executive goes to the president's office. The calling of the national council goes to the president's office. We went further to say the president will assume the power to appoint all deputies of the standing committee, except, and this is important, except in the case of vice president and vice chairperson. Mm -hmm. Why were those two exempt? They were exempt because they are in the presidium. And in our constitution, any one of those four people in the form of the president, the chairperson, uh, sorry, the president, the vice president, the chairperson, and the deputy chairperson, any one of those people in our constitution can become the president in the event that um, the one which they deputize or is on top of them in terms of hierarchy dies or, is, or, or for some reason is unable to carry out their duties. So we made it clear, we dealt with the succession issue, that that is how it's going to be uh, as far as the MTC constitution is concerned. Yeah. There was no contestation until 2016. Why did things change in 2016? It's because the then president, Dr. Morgan Twangrai, fell ill with a terminal illness. And those that wanted to grab power violently and illegal and tribal saw an opportunity. And then they connive and try to bastardize the institution of the MTCT to the effect that then they said, there are two vice presidents that the president had to appoint. Now, the irony of it is that the resolutions were clear in saying when it comes to vice president and deputy chairperson, you can't appoint, you will appoint all the deputies of, of the standing committee. Um, so they pushed that narrative, pushed that narrative through violence, through misinformation, and many other means. Uh, and then, unfortunate, as you would know, Dr. Twangrai passed in 2018. It's now a matter of a historical record yeah. uh, that Dr. Kupe was almost bent in a heart in Puera at that funeral. The Americans were there, the British were there, the who's who of the political world was there. So this is a matter of historical record. Why did they want to burn her in her heart together with uh, our SG Who Monzora, to our TG Chief Unzovu, Who wanted to burn her in the house? It was supporters of Nelson. It was supporters of Nelson Chamisa. They said to her, she is in Debele, and that disqualifies her from ruling Zimbabwe. She must go back to Matebele land. They actually called her dissident, and they said they will do to her what was done to the dissidents during the Kukraundi era. Yep. So they attempted to burn that heart where she had taken refuge. And by God's grace, it was raining, so the grass could not catch the fire. Mm -hmm. That's how she survived today. That's how you still have this former deputy prime minister of this country. She was basically left helpless there. And uh, as, as Providence will have it, she survived yep. because of, of that. 
Okay. Now, Kalipad, unfortunately, we just have to, let's see? just quickly go to an ad break. We're going to come to an ad break, and then we're going to ask you about the role of Togozani Kupe right now and whether she has opened herself has opened herself um, to being influenced by Zanu PF. And then we'll get um, we'll get U Dewa always to co to comment on this as well and what this means for the issue around um, human rights. So that conversation will be happening just after this. We're having a debate, a conversation, looking at the state of the opposition in Zimbabwe and is. I'm just waiting for Mr. Tinashe Jonasi, who was a panelist on this uh, uh, interview, to uh, maybe dig deeper, to get to know uh, the background and uh, what he believes is the issue in Zimbabwe. Hello? Uh, Mr. Mawari, I'm sorry. Can you send another link? It was, uh, it's just uploading, uploading this link. All right, uh, but we can... Uh, talk, uh, uh, let me send you the link and then let's see if it does and then we can we can do it on WhatsApp. No problem. All right, so I've sent you there. So Mr. Jonasi is going to come and join us and then uh, we can then deal with uh, what he is talking about. I would love to be part of the discussion. May I have the link? And uh, that's uh, Signor. Uh, and uh, Signor says Kupe Maridadi, Monzora, and others have always been members of the MDC for the wrong reasons. Assume that uh, uh, Signor knows what the right reasons are. They have been attacking, destroying from within. Watengesi Wakuru, that's a judgment made uh, by facts known to Signor. And uh, here we are talking to the issue uh, of the state of play in the opposition as uh, articulated by different uh, uh, panelists on SABC. And uh, the idea was to generalize the conversation. What is the opposition? What is happening? And why is it happening? And uh, you may discover that what you think is not the reality of the events that are unfolding. What I think may have nothing to do with the reality on the ground, but as usual, superstition, gossip, speculation informs many of the discourses that take place in any uh, grouping of human beings. After all, we are human beings limited by our past in terms of facts, yet it is very possible that uh, uh, human beings like me often interpose ourselves in facts that go beyond our personal knowledge. The facts of 2018, the facts of 2020 are different. Hello? Uh, so we can go ahead. Uh, I just wanted to confirm that uh, you had uh, that conversation on African perspective uh, that was focusing on the state of play in relation to the opposition parties in Zimbabwe. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. And uh, what was, I, I've listened to uh, the portion of that uh, interview, uh, maybe to summarize what with your key take home points. My take home points is <coughs> Uh, especially the issue we, we I mean, uh, affecting MGC currently, um, people, they pick their favorite uh, candidate or leader. And anything then which is alleged by any other, uh, uh, I mean, stakeholder or non-stakeholder, they would defend their favorite candidate or leader. 
uh, without themselves also sitting down and applying their own conscience and the and or, or research about it, what is being said. For example, a Nelson Chamisa grabbed the power, and the, whether you like Chamisa or you don't, you are his enemy, you are his friend, you are his blood brother or twin brother or his wife. There is no, there is no denial that the takeover was wrong, but. All, all the people who are MDC Alliance members or supporters, they feel it's President uh, ED or ZANU PF. It's the work of ZANU PF. When Chamisa took over power, no one said it's ZANU PF which, which helped him to, to, to take over power. But it's only that when, when, when a judgment, and, and people are forgetting that Chamisa had a bigger chance of, of being declared a president. No, 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 no matter he, he has taken power, but the president he did, subjected himself to competition against Chamisa. Chamisa. So if his other people were scared of Chamisa, they could have made, made the, 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 the judgment and disqualified him from even the election race. So the, the, the people, we, we use our emotions, we use our either our attitude towards a certain individual. And then we, 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 we reject conscience, we reject facts. So I, are you saying uh, that uh, any product of uh, unlawful transfer of power is bad across the board? Very much. because. Uh, so what uh, is your comment on the allegation that uh, even uh, President Mnangagwa ascended to the party position outside the four corners of the constitution of zanu pf okay um i i i'll take it in two ways uh, number one i, I will take it uh, I, I will agree with it and number two i will disagree with it okay number one if i agree with it that he, president he did took power uh, unconstitutionally uh, in terms of maybe the zanu pf constitution now, uh, the law always tends to favor those in, in power, those who can make it. So if, if you violate the condition of your party and then you go on to win, to become the national president, surely the whole system would be behind you. You will be controlling the system. Because there is no denial that when someone is a minister, when someone is a president, they they have got a lot of influence and and, and, and authority. So uh, political power is about which office are you in? So if President E D indeed violated the Zanu PF constitution, I think now he's, he's the president of Zanu PF is the president of the country. No, no. I, are you saying that it's bad uh, uh, president, or you are justifying it? If he, if he, if he, if he indeed he, 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 he violated the Zanu PF constitution, it's bad. No, no. Uh, why, why do you say if uh, when you are so uh, clear on uh, on the on the issue of Chamisa? Okay. Why, why and can't I, you be the same a uh, similar uh, uh, position? Okay. Thank you. When I when I comment that Chamisa took over power illegally. I'm not commenting because I, I, I'm an expert at law. I'm commenting because the issue of Chamisa went to High Court, then he lost it, then he took it to Supreme Court and he lost it. So but, I uh, but, uh, but let's say you made somebody, as a matter of fact, whether you go to court or not, is it made or not? Okay, a, a good question. Uh, when, when, when someone is made at someone and he has not appeared before the court, he becomes he, he officially is called a, a murder suspect. Yeah. So if the the facts of the matter show that a, a consent was not required, you see a woman you like it, and you you have unauthorized sex. Okay. What is that? Um. Th thank you. The question is, if we want to respect the law, the same law we want to respect in Zimbabwe is saying everyone is innocent. 
uh, until proven guilty. But if we say everyone is guilty until proven innocent, I think that would be unlawful. So, uh, I mean, there's, on the left, there's Jamisa, who has been proven by the High Court and the Supreme Court. As we speak... But uh, Jamisa, uh, 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 there were no costs imposed on him, so the court accepted that this matter was a bit more complex because... Uh, there was a confusion in the party as to the power of uh, the National uh, Council and the power of the Constitution and uh, the interpretation of the Constitution because there are people, okay. including in ZANU-PF, who believe that in between Congresses, actually, you can uh, uh, change even the President and the Vice President that there is nothing that limits the National Council from taking decisions of the nature that were taken in relation okay. to Chamisa. Okay, thank you. Uh, I've learned one thing from you, Mr. Maweri. What a violent, what a violent. You have taught me the difference between opinion and facts. That's right. You have taught so I, 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 I now I'm now I'm now taking life as a as a lesson as a big classroom. <laughs> so you taught me you, you taught me that young men don't speak on behalf of Zanubiev, don't speak on, on behalf of Zimbabweans, speak on behalf of yourself. That's and, right. And, and speak on I mean facts, separate facts and opinion. When it's opinion, say clearly. I think or I suspect. Or are not sure, so that people know that you are about to raise an opinion, not but to don't package an opinion as a fact. So that lesson I found it from you. So if you allow me to be a good student, student, let me say this: between Chamisa and ED, personally, they are different. Remember, I'm not a constitutional expert. I'm not a lawyer. I'm a, I'm just an ordinary person. Now. Why, what is the difference between Chamisa and ED in terms of their ascendance to power? The, the difference is that I can state clearly with authority that Chamisa is his ascendant was unconstitutional. And when someone asks me why, I would then cite the High Court ruling. I would cite the Supreme Court ruling. Now, when I go to, to ED, I, I get, I, I can even now, I, I've got the freedom to express myself and say ED ascended on power unconstitutional. When someone now asks me uh, evidence, I would then start stammering because who is who is mandated in our country to interpret the constitution and to interpret uh, the law? That person is either called a magistrate, a judge, or a Supreme Court judge. Those, uh, those three people are mandated by our constitution to interpret an event in reference to the constitution. And then they, 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 are, they are officially allowed to comment that this thing is unconstitutional, is unlawful, and when they do that, it is done, and they can pass a judgment. Now, ED has never been brought to any court in Zimbabwe so far. Meaning, if if they are experts now of law, who are better than me, because a lawyer and a, 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 a magistrate or any officer a, a, of court is someone who is above me in terms of interpreting the law. Okay, that's good. If indeed, if indeed, indeed violated the Zano PF constitution, he, he, he remains a suspect at law until I don't know any other circumstances that can make him. Uh, appear before a magistrate or the high court or the supreme court after the judgment i can declare with the pride okay that ed that ed uh well, remember if i can say now ed went to is i i i mean illegitimate right now if the if there's someone on this platform who is a, a, a lawyer or who is a, a, a i mean a constitutional expert that person might argue with me on technical on, on, on law technicalities. And I might lose the, the, the argument. Maybe I was right, 
But because I'm not an expert at law, I might even lose a, 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 a legal debate. So I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking, uh, E.D. Chamisa remained, he was a suspect until he, he was given an opportunity to appear before the court, the high court. In the uh, so your test, your, your test is on the separation of powers. That yes, uh, that the, that the executive, uh, judiciary, and uh, legislature are separate branches of a government, and as such, yes. until the court is is pronounced on a dispute, uh, everybody must be presumed to be innocent. But now you, yes. as a political actor, uh, looking at the facts, before you even uh -huh. go to court. And look at the facts, look at the circumstances, look at the ascendancy to the party position, look at the constitution, independent, you're outside the four corners of court. Are you satisfied that the ascendancy by President Mnanga got to the position of uh, President of ZANU-PF was in accordance with the constitution of ZANU-PF? Yourself, just looking at the facts. Are you saying I will be looking at the facts, or you say I, I'm looking at the opinions? My, my, it, no, no, the facts of the matter are that uh, there was a sitting president, and uh, uh -huh. there, wa there was a congress that was scheduled, and then the, uh, the vice president then was fired, dismissed by the president, which he challenged, and went to court. And the court ruled in his favor. Uh, that ascendance. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, the court ruled in, in, which, in which favor the, the sitting president or the fired vice president? The fired vice president. Or the court ruled in his favor that his firing was unconstitutional. Was uh, unlawful. Or his firing was unlawful. Yeah, except that Mugabe was not a respondent in the application. So the okay. that application was not opposed. Because oh, uh, uh, because there was a lacuna, remember when the vice pre the then vice president left the country, Mpoko was also not able to act. Okay, okay, I hear you now. Yeah, so that those are the facts. Well, I, I want to ask you one thing here: if 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 a matter is before the court, uh, and then it's not opposed. Is it, is it automatically that it, 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 the case will be lost or the, or the judge? It's not, it's not automatic because the judge still has to apply to the facts of the matter. But in any event, uh, in terms of the uh, rules and even the constitution, you have to allow the other party to uh, respond to the allegations made. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah, to make a judgment based on one side of the of the coin in itself is inimical to the rule of law. What made the, 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 the state not to oppose the the, 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 the case? Because uh, the president uh, of the time was not uh, cited as a party. Okay. Yeah. Right. So this is where the problem. Is. Do, you, do you think it was a good strategy on the part of uh, EG to win the case? I don't know what may, I think, uh, what may have visited him because remember he was fired. Uh, so for him to be eligible to become a president of ZANU PF, he had to overcome that. I get you. I yeah. Get you. And uh, uh, to take this matter outside the four corners of the court uh, uh, uh i mean of the party was to approach the court so that the matter becomes subjudicate so the party members mm -hmm. the party members who then do so i mean who then who then have no jurisdiction okay because one would have had to deal with the party issue uh, that uh, uh, does the president have the powers to fire his deputy Although he may have a, 
an ambitious wife. Whether that uh, ambitious <laughs> wife uh, uh, does waive the rights vested in the president. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah. Um, okay, I, so, I, I'm getting you, Mr. Okay, let me apply my, my own opinion. Yeah. To, 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 to what you have presented to me. Yeah. So that is the, yeah. the issue. When people see you criticizing Chamisa, then they are entitled to say you are also part of a project. Yeah, yeah, yeah I understand. Yeah. I understand. So let me respond to the issue of why I criticize Chamisa uh, in terms of law, and then I'm quiet on, on, on ED. Yeah, in uh, terms of facts, because there is no, I think you have stated the facts that uh, uh, when Changirai died, even before he died, the contestation was already alive and well. And uh, uh, that uh, there was no unity of purpose in the MDC. There were divisions. And there are people who say Kupi was fired under. Uh, Changrai's watch or elected to fire yourself by absenting from yourself from meetings that were properly called. Okay. So that is um, the that is the factual side. Uh, what are the facts? It doesn't stop you from uh, making a comment uh, on matters that even fall outside your the court's jurisdiction, because that is the nature of politics. That's your weapon. Mm -hmm. And if you are going to rise above uh, anyone else and say uh, Tinashe Jonasi is the uh, person to take Zimbabwe where people want it to be taken, then they want you to pronounce your opinion on facts and not to hide behind court uh, determinations. Because that may then mean uh, you support the judiciary as it stands, and yet the same judiciary is comprised of men and women who are mortal and defective like all of us. And we have their personal views on matters, and they can import their views into judgments. And the question is, why you have so much faith in a broken system? Okay, okay. That question to me is revolutionary. Uh, when, when, when we, the question is, why must we have faith in a broken system? Uh, that question to me, it, 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 if we try to answer that question, I think it means we are, we are exactly in reality building the nation. That's right. So that's what they're saying. Let, uh, let uh, Mr. Jonas rise above his personal feelings about this or that, but if the system is broken, then the law of the jungle takes takes over on both sides. Okay. And why okay. should why should the application of the law of the jungle? Okay. I, I hope you are going to give me an opportunity. Okay, no, go ahead. Uh, especially when there's a beautiful question like, uh, uh, why must we believe in a broken system? Yeah, that is, uh, okay. we can do that as, uh, as, uh, as part two, but because uh, it's an ambush and uh, you, okay. you, you were, uh, we were going to take over from your interview on SABC where you made uh, eloquent points on, okay. on the subject matter that was there because the topic was dealing with the opposition, not ZANU PF. All right. Uh, from from a, a moral uh, ground, uh, I'm now interpret, uh, commenting on, on ED's ascendance to power. Okay. On, on, on moral grounds, uh, as a matter of fact, no one in Zimbabwe has ever insulted ED more than me. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Hello? 
Hello? Hello? Hello? Hello? Hello? Hello? Yeah, sorry, we got cut. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yes. I think it's network. Okay. Can you hear me now? I can hear you. All right. So, I am saying... I am saying... Um, no, 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 any person in Zimbabwe has ever insulted the president more than me. Okay. But I reached a point of saying, if I, if we name, if we, if I continue insulting the president, and I got maybe a few ideas that I think can maybe help the country, and the person who is controlling the levers of power right now is ED. Whether ED is legitimate or illegitimate, but the fact of the matter is he is controlling the levers of power. And ED is a big machinery right now, is a big political machinery. Whether you call it legal or, or, or religious, he has got the power to ban a church today. Now, uh, must I work in fantasy? Can I build my country in fantasy or I build my country in reality? Then I realized that the nation building requires to, to, to deal with the reality. If, if, if Zimbabweans, we, we, we hold hands in demonizing ED, in insulting ED, we are going to end up with a rogue president, a president who doesn't care, a president who can who would become a, 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 a dangerous target. Well, that president he, he commands the army, commands the CIO, commands the police, in the prisons. So now, even in, in the attorney general is answerable to the president. Chief Justice he, he can be summoned to the office of the president. Th that is a fact. ED has got a, a privilege to abuse even, even his power. He can, uh, he can do that. So he, he, if someone in, is in such a position, and that person is a Zimbabwean, why can't we love ED? So much that I can even call ED and say, Hi, my, I, 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 ED, how are you? Can I see you tomorrow? And then ED say, No, tomorrow I'm busy. Tomorrow, Friday. Can, you, can we meet Saturday? But uh, do you know the. Oh, no, 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 okay. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I, I'm, I'm expressing my person now. Okay. My opinion. All right. No, let's go ahead. On, on, on ED. All right. And then, why can't I go to ED's office? in privacy and sit down with the ED and say, my brother, if I did this to you, I've insulted you so many times and you have never answered back. I, 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 I should, and I apologize publicly on that. ED has never insulted me back. No matter I've said a lot of facts and opinions and whatever, but ED has never defended himself. He has never insulted me back. So I, I should also take that away and apologize to him. And secondly, if I think ED went, he ascended to power wrongly, and then it's a bad example, and then if I think ED is the, or a dictator, or ED is abusing his office, why can't I talk to him in privacy? In privacy, he can, who, who knows? What if he can also cry? What if in privacy he can also confess? To other mistakes, and what if in privacy, ED can can, can 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 agree to improve in certain areas of his administration or his personality or his governance or his party? If, if, if I can tell, if I can point out ten fatal mistakes ED is making, and then he chooses to improve on, on two, that's twenty percent which came from Tinashe. And join from Jersey would also point out. I mean, we need to build a nation. Chamisa, I don't have a problem with Chamisa. 3 October, I had invited Chamisa to come to dinner. 
and he did agree. Yeah, okay. Charminta is very arrogant. When you invite him to come to such, you won't say yes or no. You will be called and you, you can just know that it's not coming. Why? Charmisa wanted to be invited by Rapaposa or Tabombeki or any other sitting president in Africa or in the world. Charmisa looks at your status. He doesn't look that I'm a citizen of Zimbabwe. So if EG, if EG who is running the country now, can he respond to my invitation and, and accept my invitation, and Charmisa can decline it. As a citizen of Zimbabwe, who would I think wants, wants to want a better Zimbabwe than the other? Yeah, I think you have raised a number of issues that require uh, interrogation and uh, introspection. You say uh, a public office bearer must be loved, not be subjected to public scrutiny. That's one take home point. You say this uh, uh, a public office bearer is bigger than life. And then if we pack that and say, okay, this is your perspective, nobody can take that away from you. But in the proper construction of government, should a president be above the law or below the law? The president must be below the law. But what I'm saying is, you know, Mr. Mawere, right now I'm, I'm, I'm engaging with you in a discussion. We might be completely going different routes in this discussion. I might believe in the left, while you are, you, you are believing in the right. Your position is right. Those are extreme opposites. But surely, there's no need of me insulting you. No, no. I'm saying, saying is the job of a president is to be below the law. I think I remember even the people yes. insulting. No, no, we, we, are, we, we, we agree the president must be, not be above the law. Yeah. The so, so if you are pissed off as a citizen, mm -hmm. do you have the right to rebel on ideas and say, my president is wrong and the way you the way you were born is illegitimate and you be able are allowed. yeah you are it's no you are allowed to do the public are the employers of the president so they are the ones who are mandated by the constitution to evaluate his performance so do you have to love a a, a beneficiary of your power or do you, do you have to be skeptical, cynical, even abusive of that power to make a point that actually no, no, the no. power the, the power the president has is not his because this is borrowed power. This is not his power. It's public power. It's public funds. That, that's correct. But you that's can't correct. you can't use the public funds now to silence somebody. Okay. Uh, Mr. Mawere, you are, you, you, you are totally correct when you say um, uh, the president, number one, we agree that it's, it's not above the law. Number two, we agree that the president has got a uh, borrowed the powers that have got an expiry date. But now, what we don't agree is, I am saying the president must not even abuse his powers at office. The same way the public, when the public mandate the president, was it? Remember when, when but you don't mandate he's your representative, he's not your president. Oh, no, 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 no. He's a public yes. office bearer, he works for you, okay. he's an employee. Yes. Okay, okay. Mr. Maweri, when you hire a, a, a driver, yeah, that driver, you, you give him full authority to drive you. Then he's no longer a republic. Because the repu I, I, no one can drive your car without you granting that person. Yeah, but it's just to drive on behalf of the people, not to drive on your own personal behalf. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the, the, the political system works as, as a, 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 it's a system. It means there's a part the president must play and the public must play. But he is a public, do we agree that he is a public, he is an agent, not a principal? Yeah, I agree. 
So if he's an agent and you are the principal, you believe there's corruption. You believe that the manner in which he assumed the position of the party and state offend the principles of constitutionalism. Why would you now be selective and say Chamisa is the only one? Okay, all right. Uh, let me answer it again for the second time. Uh, I, 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 okay, this one I'm saying the president must not abuse his office. Yeah. The public must, the public must not also abuse their, their power and then uh, ridicule or insult or shame the president. The public has got authority to remove him when they think he's not listening. They, they, they should not put him in the office. While he's this in office, they just insult him and bash him. And, and no, 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 no. They, they, they need to help him to, to be a better leader. If they, if they are fed up, surely they, 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 they can vote him out or remove him from office. No, no, I'm saying is, uh, I'm saying is, uh, uh, when you look at public power, maybe we need to look at it look at the constitution what are the obligations of a president and what are the do's and don'ts and then perhaps we can get there to say who do we hold to account the one uh, uh, who has got jurisdiction or locus to be able to uh, uh, interrogate a president of a private club or a president of the nation? And what standards do we use? Is it any of my business whether a man sleeps with a man in their bedroom? Or that's a matter that is prescribed to the people in the bedroom? Do I have a right to weigh in on the affairs? Uh, or for, uh, on the affairs of the, of the, of the party? Or, what do I do? Okay. So um, I, I'm saying um, uh, morally, ED, ED is the commander of the army of Zimbabwe. He That's the commander. He, he can order someone to be arrested. No, no. We are saying that he can't order. He has no power to order anyone to be arrested. You know that. No, 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 no. I, I am saying ED is in a position if he wants to abuse his power. He is in he a is not even in that position because he, he can't. He, his powers are prescribed. There are people who are charged with the responsibility of administering the Criminal Procedure and Evidence Act. No, no, no. And, I'm giving a point that. Oh, okay. Concerned. You are saying that uh, you can have a mischievous president. Yes. Uh, who he can. Uh, Operate outside the four corners of legality. Yes, because his position has got uh, has got facilities that that can enable him to abuse his his office. No, he doesn't have. I'm, uh, but uh, maybe we can educate each other. No, no. I am saying a president is a, a, a very a, a influential and powerful position no that's not what the constitution says if you believe in the rule of law not rule of men no no no, no okay okay i am saying what what i'm saying is that it's a, that's why many people talk about ed why are people talking about because ED? of ignorance that what want to be able to say that the president is a, does not have the powers that we confer on him Thank you, thank you so much for putting it uh, the, the, on record. So now that means the, the issue that ED uh, might not be fighting corruption, might not be doing this and that. And that it's, 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 it's neither here or there. No, it is there because he is a public office bearer. He cannot go outside the perimeter or circumference that the people give him. Even to say you are an enemy, to say you are an economic saboteur, that's outside his perimeter. Okay. All right. He doesn't have the power. Okay. All right. Yeah? I get it. I get you. Yeah. So he is, uh, he, he is not in that position. He doesn't have that power. So anyone who wants to be president must know that. 
that in as much as you say Chamisa had no power to take the baton. Yes. It must apply to everybody. No, with ED, I'm not defending that he took power in Zanu PF legally or illegal. I am saying for it to be effect now if people are alleging that he did that it means he's a suspect he is innocent of that until proven guilty no no you are a political player he's your competitor why why yeah but why not use anything okay okay thank you i don't want why are you using your your weapon only on chamisa okay thank you thank you thank you for that Chamisa is proven guilty of taking power unconstitutionally. He did not yet proven guilty. No, no, that the Chamisa was not proved guilty. You, the Supreme Court judging removed him from his office. No, it says he never took the position that his interpretation of the constitution was wrong, was defective. Then he was then corrected by through the judge. No, it's they said now no power exchanged hands. Period. And yes. the, in as much as no power exchanged hands between Mugabe and President Mnangagwa. Okay. Then that means the the the, 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 the Supreme Court ruling it didn't recognize in the office of Chamisa. No, it, it just said there is no power that they transferred hands, period. And uh, uh, and uh, and also, if the same goes for Chamisa, the same goes for President Mnangagwa. But now, what I what I know is that every case is taken on merit. When a case is brought before court, two two suspects can rape one woman. But surely, when 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 law is when there's a trial. And then there's judgment. No, don't look at the, uh, the facts of the matter because the judge only looks at the facts before him. The fact that I have not reported doesn't change the facts. But then, uh, the, the, the public opinion is not, is, is, not, is, not a final, is not a final judgment. No, I'm saying is you as a public figure, you want to have public office. Are you yes. going to be blindsided when you become president of Zimbabwe? I would do, I would do, uh, treat facts uh, as separate from opinion. No, you have a, a chance to say we, we are putting Zimbabwe in disrepute because the moment I break virginity without consent or I have sex without consent is rape. Doesn't have to go to court. No, 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 no. If there's no it's consent, not, there's uh, no consent. Mugabe has spoken. Mr. Mawere, I think we, we are we are differing in a matter of of of, of principle. If I'm a president of Zimbabwe today, and the, and the someone the, the raped someone and broke the virginity and everything, and there's witnesses, and there's a video to prove that the person becomes legally a suspect. No, why are you hiding behind legality when you're a political player? Because you, you you have a right to make judgments. Uh, okay, okay. That, that means if I become a president, I will judge every activity with my opinions and, and, and freeze the judicial system and freeze the courts. That's why you are you are you are a political player. You you uh, must be you must be able to say this is wrong, not in my name, because I am the republic. What I'm saying is, uh, right now, someone can tell me Mr. Mawere killed the, or his child, and then, and, and then, and then maybe give me uh, some uh, some story behind that. And I, ca I can't pronounce the, on TV that Mr. Mawere must be locked up because he killed his child. What if it's proven that Mr. Mawere, he, he, uh, out of all your children, no one has ever disappeared? Or no, you before. don't have to disappear. Consent is the test. The Constitution re recognizes consent. That's liberty. That's a rule of law. Okay. And if I don't, I if I don't have your consent, I can't. I can't take over that office. I feel naked. I can't say yes. I've won. I've had sex with a with a person who didn't give consent. Okay, 
in, in the absence of consent. There, there is unlawful, it's illegal, it's unconstitutional. Uh, okay, Mr. Mawere, in the absence of, 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 of consent, the, the man becomes the suspect. No, UDI, they declared independence without the consent. And that's why it was it was illegal. It didn't have to go to court. There's no court that determined that uh, UDI was was a bad project. Okay, Mr. Maweri, uh, do you agree that when a person is alleged to be raped? Uh, no, when morality is offended. If imagine I go to a woman and I have sex, then after that I say, yeah, it was great, and she didn't consent to it. Whether she's poor or you are rich or you are powerful, doesn't matter. Consent is consent. But you become a rape, a rape suspect. No, you don't become a rape. You become a rapist by conduct. Why don't you get the consent? Why didn't you go to the Congress if you are popular? Why didn't you go to the Congress, uh, uh, Asante Sani? Oh, Mr. Maweri, so are you saying... If someone he raped a woman and then broke virginity and there's evidence there are witnesses, are you saying that the person must not appear in court? Yeah. So if that no, if that person appears in court, to you, if that person is appearing in court as a rapist or as a rape suspect. No, I mean the court of public opinion is uh, is great because you are the public. <laughs> okay. Mr. Bawere, me and you are leaders. You are a leader, Mr. Maweri, in business, in 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 in, 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 in community. And I I I I am humbled by your initiative of uh, building community and whatsoever. You are not doing that out of hobby, out, out of uh, not having the, the things to do. In leadership, it's in you. So you are a leader, Mr. Maweri. Me and you must be seen to to sanitize the world in our country. No, no, I'm saying is you are giving an opportunity for people to debate issues and yes. to go through the issues so that we all have the same understanding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we... So at the, at the end of the day, other people may benefit and that's why I wish uh, I, I, I know uh, you are as a presidential candidate, you are also uh, mindful of uh, uh, your time. And uh, I've taken your time. We started late. Uh, but uh, you may, uh, this was the, the conversation. And it's uh, one of many conversations. And the, when we we are talking, it's not targeted at you. No, you are entitled yes. to your own views. I'm not here to change your views on anything. But when we have conversations, they also require us that we probe and we share them. Yes. So when we share, then it helps all of us. That's true. Yeah, to come to the basics of what uh, the issues are. It's only then when we will all become enlightened and then be able to take views and to look at all sides of a story so that uh, my view need not be the only view and that uh, temperament, when I talk of Chamisa, I am also reminded that I could also be Chamisa to other people. <laughs> yes. And uh, I take the view that my world view is the only view that must prevail. And uh, I then take the view that the people I dislike are wrong and the people I like are the best. So when we look at that, we then find we are in a, in a dilemma. And the, uh, that uh, there, is no, uh, there is no way uh, we can come to an agreement 
on anything. And when we, we can't come to an agreement on anything, then we end up with a, with a, with a problem. So I think uh, you have been very generous with your time. And uh, I think it is good. It's good that we take a step back and congratulate people like you for taking that viewpoint. Uh, just to share ideas, there's no one who is right or wrong, but uh, there's somebody in Australia who wanted to join you. I don't know whether you would allow him to join us. What's the name of the person? That's your brother, Mkuma Masimba. I don't know what... Uh, yeah, I think, I think you are rounding off. You are, you are rounding up the, 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 the discussion. It means... The, we are now concluding. Okay, so let's uh, conclude. I'm um, MM, gift, national insights, depth matters, always no lame in stock on paramount national issues. Stop street talk. Repandari, don't dilute <laughs> constitutionalism. When you support, uh, whether you support ED or not, do you support ED? And uh, somebody says he's got executive power. Somebody says great conversation. So maybe you can uh, summarize for us whether it's great or uh, uh, let's make America great again. Or let, let's uh, sanitize a politician to be great. Any conversation between uh, the citizens of Zimbabwe or among citizens of Zimbabwe that is not emotionally charged, uh, and to me it's a, it's, a, it's a great success because Mr. Mawere, uh, if I was the best in Zimbabwe in terms of wisdom and everything, purely I was going to be alone in the whole country and I was going to turn Zimbabwe as an island. But why are we over 15 million? Because we are each other's keeper. Uh, another Zimbabwean is maybe a, a, a nurse that Zimbabwean will treat me. Another Zimbabwean is a barber in the, I mean, you to cut my hair. There's an interdependence. So no one is the best Zimbabwean, no one is, the, is less Zimbabwean. So I think we need to converse. I mean, uh, people, Zimbabweans are now becoming wiser in every aspect of life because uh, social media like WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter, I mean, people are converting. And we don't need to agree, but we need to agree that let's discuss and engage without using emotion. So if, if you look at uh, this conversation of today, was it a, a waste of your time or something that you think ought to be shared? And uh, uh, remember, even within the conversation, remember, even what I said on SABC, I told you that uh, it's, it's some of the lessons I got from the uh, previous interactions with you. Uh, I'm, I'm not shy and, or, 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 or have a pride. I, I, if I'm going to be a better uh, Zimbabwean tomorrow, it's, 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 it's people like Mr. Mawere and, and other Zimbabweans who would um, advise me. I mean, I might do wrong things thinking I'm, 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 cor I'm correct, but uh, in Zulu they say, umundu umundu habantu. Munu, munu Saka, I might reflect a, a persona uh, who was created from my family or from my background. But surely Zimbabweans in diversity, they've got a lot of advice and knowledge to, 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 to make me a better citizen. And only not only better, but progressive and, and, and constructive. 
I mean, in the objective of of nation building. All right. So, would you have been prepared to have uh, some of these conversations are uh, recorded in the spirit of building the Zimbabwe that you want to see? I don't have a problem because they remember anything to do with the Zimbabwe. I'm a Zimbabwe. So when I'm recorded uh, in era or during my strength, any situation, Zimbabwe, we should make, we should all make mistakes, but we should be, we should do everything in good faith. I am a Zimbabwean who is proud of the country, uh, irregardless of what Zimbabwe is going through. Irregardless, some people can say there's a broken system. Me, I believe we, should, we still, it's our duty to, 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 to mend that broken system until it's working. Okay, then finally, uh, you know, you are being broadcast on also on Mkwama Masimba's plat uh, platform's Facebook page. And I'm raising this issue because he's writing a book, Rebenzi. Uh, have you heard of that book? I, I know you've spoken to Mkoma Masimba. Uh, I'm, I'm not aware of the book. Yeah, he, 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 you are now part of his book. And this in, is in, what sense? in, in the what sense in that way? your views on the issues that you have expressed today they are also being broadcast to people who follow you. And uh, to, me, to, to, to me, it's an honor if any Zimbabwean can use my opinions, which are, which are strong or which are weak. Uh, as I say, we are each other's keeper. Yeah, so I was just letting you know that uh, he, he wanted to, to have a, a conversation with you so that, uh, uh, because uh, he has also taught me one thing, that uh, some of the conversations I have and the language that I use may not be understood by the people that call themselves better Zimbabweans or Zimbabweans in general. So I, I end it. up talking to myself, believing that yeah. what I know yes. and what I'm yeah. saying I don't have a problem because I have got a, a, a I must leave Lundia. Pretoria for John. I, I must leave Pretoria for Johannesburg right now and I'm 20 minutes behind. Okay. So I, when I engage with him, I want to concentrate and focus on on my conversation with him because he is trying to build the country from his own uh, space. Uh, so I, I respect him and I I I, whenever I engage with him, I would want to give him my full attention. No, thank you very much. I think on that call, thank you for your time. I will let him know if he's not listening so that uh, uh, we can have order and structure so that our conversations are planned because uh, uh, what you are doing, it doesn't mean the world is doing what you are doing. Other people have schedules. They need time. They need to know what is going to be discussed. They need to be better prepared so that uh, we don't end up in each other's spaces, in each other's lanes, and then we end up with confused brands. Each one of us wants to look good, to be themselves. So if there's anything out there, let, be, let us build communities so that people like uh, Mr. Jonasi can come to talk to us in a structured, uh, civilized or uh, manner, and then we all can conclude, like Max is saying, interesting conversation indeed, because nobody goes out feeling they've been ambushed, abused in an interview. Thank you very much. I, I honor you. Thank and you. He, and, and if Mr. Basimba is listening or not, you should tell him I love him, I support him, and he, if he's scheduled any engagement, I'm available. No, thank you.